Hi everybody, welcome. Um, this is just really uh, hopefully quick and impromptu. I wanted to do this for my Facebook group that I'm on. They were asking um, basically how to do the paint and sit canvases on their Cricut, Cricut Maker. Or I take it you might can even do it on the sil sil Silhouette or Cameo. I'm not sure. Um, but if it has a draw functionality, you should be able to do this. I'm pretty sure the rules should still apply. But um, I'm going to practice using the It's Me Girl because most people have her or can get a hold of her. And so I just want to use her. I am using a Windows PC and I have the Cricut Maker. But again, you should, as long as it can draw, you should be able to use this, okay? So um, I always wanted to do YouTube videos. Didn't quite think my first video would go like this, but it's okay. Nevertheless, we're here, right? So the canvas that I like to use... Um, or I prefer to use or I suggest to be used will be the Crafter Square, the artist canvas. Um, you can find this at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm using the 8x10. It does come bigger, I think 11 by 14 or something like that. And it also comes smaller. It doesn't matter the size, it still will work for this, okay? Um, this is the barcode on the back in case anybody wants it. That's the number there. Now, the reason why I'll suggest this, um, I'm going to put this up, is because it is, as you see, oh, kind of ripped there. But, nevertheless, it is super thin. And this is thin enough to go underneath the Cricut Maker when you put it on the mat. Um, this is one that I've done earlier, just to kind of let you know how it comes out. I mean, it looks a little yin yin but I'll explain to you why this looks like it looks, right? But, again, um... It has to be the artist canvas. It cannot be the regular canvas with the thicker ends. It has to be as thin as possible. The really, really thin ones, okay? Um, the thicker ones, they will... Sometimes you might get it a slide underneath there, but if it's possible, it will break the tips of your pens, which I've already broken two of them. That's why I said I'll explain why that looks like that in a minute. And um, this was trial and error. I thought, honestly, everyone was doing it this way. I didn't realize that there was... You know, you can use the iron on vinyl or um, you can supplement print on top of it, which works fine. But this works for me. I don't have those. I mean, I have iron on vinyl, but I'm not able to print onto supplement or whatever. I can't say it, but you know, you know what I mean. If you're a crafter, you know what I mean. So this is how I do mine and uh, make it. So again, using the It's Me Girl, oh, you want to try to get her down to as black and white as you can. This right now, she is in a cut format. Um, what I'm going to do, which she's already been sized because I have her saved, but what's important, since this is an 8 by 10 what I like to do is, I'm going to do one that's unwrapped. What I like to do is give myself some space. So I keep my frame within, my picture within a 7 by 9 ratio. So that gives me an inch of border to work around. And, um... When we get ready to place on the mat, I'll tell you why that's important, at least for me. You can definitely do a half inch out. Um, if you like, you can do seven to seven and a half by nine and a half if you want to, but I honestly prefer or suggest to do seven by nine just to give you some playing room until you get more comfortable with it. That is me personally, it just works for me. So, um, once I get her to the black and white state is down break her down as far as i can then i will um adjust her to the seven and seven to nine seven by nine i mean seven uh inches across nine inches down but she will fit perfectly in the middle of my canvas when i get ready to do it the most important step here once you make it to this part is you want to switch her from a basic cut down to pen. This will make her into basically a coloring book page. So that's how you want your image to look, a coloring, like a coloring book page, okay? So once you have her in this state, you'll go ahead and, um, and I'm sorry, I'm doing this with my phone. So let me zoom out a bit. I didn't, like I say, super quick, didn't plug my camera up, but you want to go over and make it. There we go. Come on. And how I like to place her 
is right in the middle area of my mat. So when I get ready to place my canvas, I'm going to put my canvas on that one inch mark here. And so it's going to stop at the nine inch mark over here. And it's also going to drop down and stop at the 10 inch mark. So I need to place my picture eyeball roughly right in the middle of that. So I want it to be between the one inch and the nine inch and between for height one inch and a 10 inch as long as she's revel um, closely in the middle you should be fine you should have no problems um but just keep in mind that your board is moving from one to nine and down to ten so this is the shape of our board right there so as long as she's in the middle she'll be good so then i'll go ahead and hit um continue and I think because my Cricut's already connected, I'm going to have to turn it off and turn it back on. So, yep, it is just one moment. And while that's getting together, okay. I'm back, no intermissions. <laughs> so, um, gonna go ahead and retry and connect my Cricut. Oh. Select device here. Okay. So, um, okay, it's just being a butt, but. Let's try to connect. Come on now. Oh, it's been a rough. Okay. Oh, because I'm working on another project in the background. So let me hit finish here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that awesome, you guys? We can offset now. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, come on. Okay, perfect. So, of course, I have my presets. But me personally, what I just set mine on, which I honestly don't feel like this matter much. But I just set it to a medium card sock. And then, of course, it's going to tell me to enter my pen. Um, and this is black. So, um, I'm going to move you guys over to my other table. And again, forgive my workspace. We all crafters, so we should know. And um, it's a little messy in here. Okay, the girl's working. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move over here, point this down, boom. And I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. Guess that's down too far. Okay, so this is my board, and um, what I want to do, or what I'm going to do, I'm gonna kind of tilt this off to the side. What I'm gonna do is get ready to tape down this board. So, okay, so you remember how I was telling you that oh, my board a little dirty, but. You want to go from the, your board is going to start at the one inch mark and it's going to stop at the, um, the nine inch mark. So you want to place your board there. So I'm going to take my board, put it right here at the one inch. And, um, it should stop right at the bottom, right here at 10 inch. That's 10 inches. And then I'm going to take, um, just some painter's tape and... Tape this down so I'll just take one piece above the top and this is where that importance of I say you have a one inch um, border around because you want to leave room for your tape 
sometimes it may go over and if it does all you have to do is just take your your pen and just kind of freehand draw in the edge and I just tape a little bit on the side doesn't have to be too much it won't you just want enough to hold it in spot hold it in place same thing over here because if this moves it will make an error on your cricket and make it stop because it's like it moved too much slide it over here and tape this edge down perfect so now um lift this up a little bit now your board is ready to go so you have it taped down around the edges right so um let's see can i get this any taller bring it over to my Cricket, sorry once again, please ignore my workspace. It is we going through it, right? So on your cricket, um again I broke the tips off of my black pins. I don't know where they're at right now. Oh, excuse my ash hand. I don't know where they're at right now to show you, but I broke the tips off my black pen. And as you can see, I do use my cricket very much. So so I just put in this light blue color in there and then we'll load our board in. Okay, and it does that. And then once it's ready, we'll go. And I'll let you guys watch the process. As you see, it slides underneath there with no problem. It slides back with no problem. And the tape is holding it down. And it's going to draw our girl. Okay. Now... The black marking you're seeing, now normally if you do want your outline to be black, I have um, a black Sharpie, which um, I got at the Dollar Tree as well. Let me grab it. So, it's just a, just a five point, fine point Sharpie. It's fine point sharpie that I got at the Dollar Tree and you can trace right over the outline and make it black if you want to or you can leave it that light color some don't mind it's really on um, preference up to you whatever you want As you see, the tape is holding it still, so it's not going nowhere. Slide back and forth, so on the steam. At this point, we are over halfway done. It says we are at 66%. And normally, what I have, like if I'm doing a like a paint and soap or canvas party for someone, I'm putting together some painting kits. Um, once I have the design, I'll just take this, put, pull off the tape. The painter tape to pull off really easy. And then I will, um, put the next one on and let it run and keep going until I'm done. So forth and so forth. I love it. It's a project that really takes this time. See, almost done. She's out of there. Okay, and she is done. Now we're gonna take her off. Let me sit her back down here. Um, there she is. She is finished. Okay. Boom. And then you'll just take it off and you're done. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope it was straightforward and simple. But of course, if you have any questions, please. Feel free to message me. Leave a comment down below. I hope to do more videos like this, more formal videos with a intro and transitions and make it look all pretty. But I hope this was quick, easy, and simple for you. Please like and subscribe and share as well. And until next time, take care. Bye.